In this tutorial, I'm going to look at global colours, custom spot colours and overprint colours. Now before we get into creating these three types of colour, first I'm going to discuss what a global colour is in Affinity Designer. A global colour is a flexible type of colour. It can be applied to objects and then changed at any point in time and any objects which have that global colour applied will update to match the new colour. So here I have a design in front of me for a trifold leaflet which I've sent to a client. Now the client said they like the design but they don't like the colour used in it. They don't like this shade of purple. And they've asked if I can redo the design with a different colour. Now I purposely designed this using global colours so that if that scenario came up I could quickly make the changes to the document. If I select this background object here and select the gradient tool, you'll see that this has got two colours applied to it, global colour 1 and global colour 2. Now if I switch over to the swatches panel and drag it out here, you can see that these two colours are available from the current document palette. Document palettes are the only place where global colours can be stored. So simply control, click the global colour swatch that you want to edit and select edit fill. By default, you're presented with the HSL colour wheel to make your changes, but of course you can select any other method from this pop-up menu. So I'm going to go for the green colour, going for darker for this one and a slightly lighter green for this. And you can see with just a few clicks I've converted that purple colour into a green colour. The only colours which haven't changed in my design are the ones in the photographs. Now let's discuss how you can create global colours and along the way we're going to discuss custom spot colours and overprint colours. So I'm going to switch to a document here which I created earlier with simply a square in the centre. So a very quick way of creating a global colour is to use a colour which is already applied to an object and this is going to be applied to the object's fill or stroke. So let's recolour this to a deep red colour and then simply control click on your object, scroll down to where it says add to swatches and then from here you can see three options from fill as global, from line as global and from both as global. So I'm going to select from fill as global and what Affinity Designer will do is it will create a global colour based on the fill of that selected object. Global colours are indicated on the swatches panel by this small white triangle in the bottom left hand corner of a swatch. And when we originally created our global colour, Affinity Designer created a document palette for us. If we wish to rename this, we can go to the Panel Preferences menu and select Rename Palette. Now, at any point in time, if you wish this global colour to be an overprint colour, simply control click the swatch and select the option that says Overprint the image of the swatch will update to add this object in the top right hand corner which indicates that that global colour is also an overprint colour. Now at any point you can create a global colour from scratch. Simply select your document palette and then from the panel preferences menu select add global colour. This presents you with a dialogue where you can name your colour and then define your colour using the HSL wheel or any other of the standard colour picking options. Now if you want to create a spot colour this is where you can select spot at the bottom of the dialog to make sure that your global colour is also a spot colour. A spot colour has to be a global colour in Affinity Designer. You also have the option in this dialog 
to create the global color as an overprint color as well. So I'm going to select that and then click Add. And our global color is added to the swatches panel here. As you can see, you've got an indicator showing that it's a global color. You've got an indicator showing that it's an overprint color. And you also have an indicator here in the bottom right, a small circle, which shows that it is also a spot color. If at any point in time you want to rename your global color, simply control click on the swatch and click rename global color. In the dialog, type the name for the color and click OK. You apply global colors to objects in exactly the same way as any other color from the swatches panel. So you select your object and then click to select the swatch. The color panel updates to tell you that that swatch has been applied, but it also gives you more information about the global color which has been applied. It gives you the name and it gives you, lets you know that it's an overprint or a spot color if that was applied to the global color. You can also use this button here to edit the global color. The color panel is also really useful for tinting your global color. So that controls the amount of ink that is placed on the page when the page is finally printed. If you do have spot colors within your document and you want to send it to a print shop, you need to make sure the PDF you provide to them has got those options selected. So if I go to the file menu and click export, I can switch over to the PDF option. From here I can select a preset or I can go to more options. You have on a spot colors selected there. When you're happy with your document, click export and your PDF will be ready for the print shop. And so that's how to work with global colors, spot colors and overprint colors in Affinity Designer. Thanks for watching.